Then I head down with a bucket of bait to draw in the fish that barracuda eat. And start chumming the water, wondering what is lurking out there. Vibration and movement in the water is definitely calling in the predators. There's one here. Does it intend to attack my bait or me? There's, an, there's one out here. Here's my bait. Here's my rod. Normally I've got a reel and some line. Today I've just got the bait attached to the rod. A vigorous waving of the bait seems to get its attention. Here we go. Definitely coming in. There's definitely a sort of a cautious um, approach going on. This fish is wary, assessing the danger before striking. That came in at a rate of knots, it just locked on. And it was coming at speed. Just fearsome, absolutely fearsome, these things. Just a little, little rain of scales in the water. I'm really getting an understanding of how they lock on and how they attack. Barracuda, it hits, and it hits straight on. It's not like a sideways movement like you get with some fish, like sharks. Didn't take the bait, it just sliced the end clean off. Oof. I didn't, I scarcely even saw it. That's what must have happened to Bill's foot. For a moment there, I wasn't looking at a fish getting nailed, I was looking at a human foot, and I can absolutely imagine now what must have been going on underneath the water when Bill got attacked. so much about barracuda. Just seeing them feed right in front of me. I can certainly now visualize much better what's going on out of sight under the surface. <laughs> <laughs> 